Hi, Paul here. I'd like to give you a quick tip on how to set up a Dante network. So first, let's have a look at the physical aspects of this. So if you come a bit closer, I've, I've got a, a network here which includes my Scorpio, um, a MacBook Pro here, and our um, A10 rack wireless receiver unit here. Um, all of these devices can be connected via Dante. So let's first um, take a look at the rear of the Scorpio and where to connect the Dante. So here we have um, one cable connected from the Dante uh, left port here into my MacBook, okay? And I'm going into the MacBook here via an adapter, a USB-C to Ethernet adapter. So these two are now connected. Um, inside Scorpio is an Ethernet switch. So I don't need an external uh, switch in this case, or a hub in this case, because I've, I've only got three devices. If I had a lot more devices, I could run with an external multi-port uh, hub or switch. So the other port here is currently connected to the rear of the A10 rack, just down here. Now to confirm that you've got a good connection, you want to check on the RJ45s themselves that you've got flashing lights, green and orange. That means that they are detected on the network and they are communicating. So you can see this on the A10 here. And then if you look at the rear of the uh, Scorpio, you can see that as well. Both ports are showing signs of activity. In the next uh, quick tip, I'm going to show you how to set this up via Dante controller such that they are communicating and sending audio to the relevant places.